This is the fourth module in helping you begin to understand how to sing music on site. At the end of this module, you will understand the difference between beat, tempo, and rhythm, and you will be able to speak quarter note and half note rhythms on beat counts. What is the difference between a beat, a tempo, and a rhythm? A beat is the steady and basic pulse in time. Think of a clock with a second hand. Each tick of the second hand is a beat. In one minute, there are 60 beats. Tempo refers to the speed of a beat. There are fast tempos, and there are slow tempos. This is called a tempo marking, and it indicates that the tempo will be 60 beats per minute. It's the tempo of a second hand on a clock, and it feels like this. This refers to a tempo of 120 beats per minute, or a tempo that feels like this. This tempo is twice as fast as the first tempo. Rhythm refers to the combination of different note values. Rhythms can be simple, like this. One, two, three, and four. Or they can be complex, like this. One, da, two, e, da, three, and da, four, e, and. Note that the steady beat stays the same. There is a basic pulse that stays consistent throughout. Listen again. One, two, three, and four. One, da, two, e, da, three, and da, four, e, and. Also take note that the tempo stays the same. Let's learn the basics of speaking rhythms on beat counts. Remember that the top number in a time signature tells us how many beats are in a measure. The bottom number tells us which note is getting the value of one beat. In 4-4 time, there are four quarters per measure. To label beat counts, we will assign each quarter note a number to indicate which beat we are performing. Here is beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four. And we will speak the rhythm as one, two, three, four. In measure two, we have a quarter note on beat one. A quarter rest on beat two. We will perform one beat of silence and we will indicate this with an R, which stands for rest, and the number two, which indicates which beat we are resting on. The number two is in parentheses as a reminder that I'm on beat two, but I'm not actually going to say the number two. Then we speak the next two quarter notes as three and four. Can you fill in the rest of the beat counts? Rest on one, speak two, rest on three, speak four, speak one, two, three, rest on four. This is what the whole exercise sounds like. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, two, four, one, two, three. Let's speak the rhythm together. Try to follow the notes, not the numbers. You'll get one full measure of the metronome before it's time to come in. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, two, four, one, two, three. There are two things that you should incorporate into your practice. You probably noticed that I'm doing a singing-like speech as I'm performing the rhythms. This is a good practice for you to use as you are learning how to speak rhythms because our speech patterns tend to be in the lower part of our speaking range. By singing the rhythms on a higher monotone rather than speaking them, we tend to use a better vocal technique that's easier on our voices than speaking. 
If we speak rhythms on those long sustained tones in our lower speaking range, our voices will get tired more quickly. The second thing is that as you are learning how to read rhythms, you will need to start tapping the steady beat. Tap it physically by tapping your foot, or by patting your leg, or by clapping silently. The best musicians always tap the steady beat, regardless of how simple or complex the rhythms are, because performing music is a kinesthetic, tactile, physical skill. Steady beat does not become internal until your body learns how to feel it externally. So as you are practicing your rhythms and sight singing, make sure you are physically and externally tapping something. Let's learn another note value. One quarter plus one quarter equals two quarters or one half. This is a half note. In 4-4 four -four time, you would hold a half note for two beats of value. In this rhythm, here is beat 1, beat 2. The half note is on beat 3. I would speak this as 3, and then I would hold through beat 4. I put the 4 in parentheses because I know that beat 4 is there, but I'm not saying it. Here is what it sounds like. 1, 2, 3. For measure 2, here is beat 1, beat 2. This is a half rest, labeled with an R, that holds beat 3 and 4 in parentheses. Can you fill in the rest of the measures? Beat 1, hold through beat 2, rest on 3, speak 4, speak 1, rest on 2, speak 3, 4. Let's speak the exercise together. One, two, three, one, two, one, four, one, three, four. Now you do it by yourself. You will get four beats on the metronome, then start. This concludes Module 4. Join me tomorrow where we will sight read rhythms and melodies together.